Um, really good. Um, I can't really ask. I can't really ask for better. I um, in May this year I went full time. So although this is only my third Ironman, full distance Ironman, um, I've been able to prepare for it as a full time athlete, which I think has really had a had a great impact on on hopefully what will be a good performance on race day. Um, I'm definitely fitter than I've ever been going into an Ironman. Um, and all I hope is that that just reflects on race day. I think the mental game of um, Kona is is a massive a massive part of the outcome of the race. Um, obviously, I've never raced it, but it's clearly a really tough race, and it's a it's a race where the environment and the conditions are so so harsh. But alongside being the most competitive race of the year the mental side of the race is going to be so key to a, to a good performance. I'd probably say, um, to, to firstly, to enjoy it. Um, if you're too nervous and stressed about the race, there's absolutely no way you're going to do well. The more you enjoy it, the, the, more, the, the better performance you'll have on race day. Um, and secondly, I think pacing. I think here it's going to be really hard to pull yourself back at the beginning of the race because People, if you look at the history of the results, everyone goes off too hard and, and dies on the marathon. So that, that would probably be my best top two tips. Um, I, I feel really fortunate that um, I can partner with Orca. So they've, they've put a lot of in time and investment into um, research of their technology. I think um, on the bike, I'll be wearing the, um, the new race kit. And, and I think that's got something like a 10 watt saving. Um, alongside the shoes, I think it's, it's possibly over 10 watts, um, and it's it's those marginal gains that will really really make the difference come race day.